Are we in the matrix? That's your question, isn't it? I know it is because that's the question that a lot of people have right now. A lot of people are searching for that answer. And I guarantee you, you've been searching for it and the answers you're getting are misinformation and bad information. So I'm asking you this, are you prepared for the answer? Are you? Think about this. They say, you know, when you go looking for something, you may not like what you find. You may not be prepared for what you find. So I'm asking you, are you prepared for that answer? All right. The reality is, yes, you are in the matrix. Yes. This is the matrix. This is a simulation. This is a game experience. If you want to think of it in terms of the Oasis, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the movie Ready Player One um, or The Sims or um, any number of multiplayer game where you're, you know, you know, using Oculus, anything, virtual reality, any kind of augmented reality type of game that you can wrap your head around. That's what this is. This is a game experience and it was created by us for us. Yep. Yep. (laughs) Yes. Yes. You are in fact the creator of this world. If you're looking for that answer, yes. You're in the matrix. All right. Now that you know that, Are you feeling trapped? Are you feeling like you're in a prison? Are you feeling like you're in a reality that you just, this is a nightmare and how did I get in here and how the hell do I get out of it? Is it ever going to end? Do you feel like that? My guess is yes. That's why you're looking for the answer. Now, with the answer comes a lot more questions to be asked and to be answered. If we're in a game, what's the object of a game? The object of a game is to win the game, right? Okay. So with every game that you've played, there are rules. There is a structure of the game. There's a whole blueprint of the game. Usually in many video games, there are levels and stages or worlds stages. Let's let's go with stage levels. Okay? I'm going to go old school and we're just going to go with Super Mario Brothers because it's easier for people to understand if you've not played that game, I feel sorry for you. <laughs> but maybe you're too young or maybe you're too old and look, I'm not there's no judgment there. I'm just saying maybe you're in a age category where you that wasn't a thing for you. All right? <laughs> Please don't take offense to that. It's just a statement. Um, but with Super Mario, you start on world one. And you progress through different levels of world one. And then you get to the top and there's a boss. You there's a challenge at the top of that of that of that world. The top level of that world is a challenge. And if you beat that boss, you go up to the next world. And the whole point is so Mario can rescue Princess Peach. So you go up to world two. Now you go through all the levels of world two. And then you get to the top boss of level two. And then you go to level three. Do you see what I'm saying? It's a progression. That's what we are experiencing right now. We're not experiencing Super Mario World, um, but we are experiencing a game that is structured in that kind of way. There are every possible experience in this world. It, it It is a virtual reality world where you're immersed. You have 
feeling re- honestly ready player one is a very good interpretation of it because <sighs> the main character per parzival wade watts like he's living in this very dystopian kind of world a very bleak slummy kind of world very gray very very dark kind of world and he escapes his reality in the oasis but in the oasis you can see and feel and all of that and like he wins a particular he wins a key in the game and he's able to go and buy things to level up his game and he, one of the things he buys is a full suit of where he can feel everything that he's experiencing in the Oasis. You can feel everything on his body. Anywhere you touch him, he can feel it. He could, he could just, you know, if, it, if, it's, if it's warm, he can feel it. So these bodies that we're in, we can feel. We can feel senses that, you know, I can feel this. I'm slapping my hand right now. I can feel it. It doesn't hurt, but I feel it. Um, you know, I can feel an emotion when I'm angry. I can feel an emotion when I'm sad um, or when I'm in love or when I see a dog or a fuzzy little kitty or something like that. I get a feeling in my body. And when I take a sip of something really, really good, like a that perfectly brewed cup of coffee in the morning. And you just, ah, oh, that's a great cup of coffee. Do you see what I'm saying? We're immersed. We're immersed. We have emotions. We have thoughts. And this is a game. But in order to have experienced the game, we had to be put to sleep. Our bodies were put to sleep And we are jacked into the game, playing the game. And our minds, our memories about who we really are have been wiped out. So we get dropped into the game and we get born over and over again from our mothers And we go through life, through different experiences, through a different set of experiences based on different choices that we make. And that's how we live our experiences. The choices determine our game. The choices determine how the game experience will be for us. There's a lot to learn. Okay? So I'm going to create a playlist. I'm going to attach it here. The one main thing that you need to understand about this is that this is about making your mind strong, about having the mental strength to get through this game and win it. And if what is going on in the world, wherever you are, if it's scaring the bejesus out of you, if you're feeling uncertain, if you're feeling stressed, if you're feeling anxious, if you're feeling downright scared and depressed and all of that, I'm going to tell you that sticking your head deeper into the sand and just hoping it's going to pass, uh, if that's your game plan, uh, that's not going to be very... It's not going to be a good outcome. That's not a good, that's not a beneficial choice for you. It's always been my experience that facing the truth, um, I've always been somebody like, I need, I need the truth. Don't, don't give me lies. Don't feed me lies. I've always been about that. And I can pretty much see through people's BS pretty quickly. Um, I know when I'm being lied to. I just know. Okay. So <laughs> I I am somebody who would much rather deal with the ugly truth because then I know what I'm dealing with. Okay? 
as hard as the truth might be, I would much rather deal with that hard truth because I know it's concrete. I know it's real. So are you somebody who prefers to be lied to or are you somebody who is seeking the truth? Because the truth is there. But you're not going to find it in all that garbage. I'm trying to help you see your way through. I was somebody who was looking for the truth. I was get, getting a lot of garbage, a lot of wrong information. Because I kept making detrimental choices. I kept making choices based on my my level of perception. Okay? Uh, based on my level of understanding, I kept making those choices because I I made one choice and that choice only gave me so many other choices to build upon. It wasn't giving me the better choices. So I just was stuck in a lost loop. And that's what you have to come out of. You have to get off the hamster wheel of your choices. So I'm going to put the information here for you. And you're going to have to decide for yourself of what kind of experience you want. I mean, listen, why are you looking for the information? Why are you looking up the answer, are we in the matrix? Why are you even searching for that question? That's what you need to ask yourself. What do you care? What do you care? If you think that our life is what it is, that we're born, we go through uh, painful experiences. You know, some of us have had severely traumatic experiences in our lives, and that's just the, 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 the cars we've been dealt. And, you know, some people are just going to have it harder, and some people are going to have the silver spoons in their mouth. If you really think that that is what you are supposed to, if that's the way it's just supposed to be. And then we grow old, we, we work and we slave for 30 plus years, longer sometimes, 50 years of our life that we just slave to a company and work and grind just to retire. And then our bodies break down and then we die. And then we go up to heaven at the pearly gates and we're judged to see if we can go through. And God is sitting there on the big white throne of judgment and if you don't pass, you don't go there, you go down to hell in the fiery pits of hell or whatever other version of your crazy religion has told you. If you think that's the truth, why are you even asking the question? There are so many lies that you have been told. And this is not about conspiracy theories. Don't even go there with that. But you have been told so many lies. And it's time you've been told the truth. So I leave you with that. You follow the path that I'm going to leave you. And you decide for yourself if you want to win your game. Do you want to win this game? If you do, you're going to have to Pick yourself up by your bootstraps and you're going to have to dig in and do some work. And you're going to probably be confronted with a lot of information that you don't want and you're not going to like. It's going to be off-putting. You're going to need to get your head right. And if you can't do that, I don't know what to tell you. Do you want to be a winner or do you want to be a loser? Are you going to be a loser for the rest of your life? Are you going to be a loser? Are you a loser? No. No. You're not a loser. You're a winner. Winners do what it takes. Think of a very Olympiad who does what it takes. The sacrifices and the determination and the drive to be the best. You are the best of the best. Don't forget it. 
You are the best of the best. You do what it takes. And that's how I'm going to leave this with you. Make the right decision for yourself.